Hey folks, Eclipse and Mall Designs here, and this is part two of the Leopard C2 tank diorama build. So in the last video, uh, we just finished putting the oil base down for the tracks, or the uh, turned earth for the tracks. And as you can see, we put the pigments over top, the trench earth, the faded green, and a little bit of the ash. And the sheen is gone. As you can see, it looks just like the... Uh, the tracks have gone over and turned up the earth a bit and the, the glare that you're getting is just from the, the, the grass itself. So what I've done is just sprinkled some grass over top or like this stuff here that I from the extra pieces that I had from when I ripped this this track up here here from where the tracks are going to be laid and just sprinkled it over top because obviously some grass would come back up kind of thing because I didn't want the mud look. So that is done. So it's just going to be the matter of uh, where I want to put the figures once, once it's all said and done. But there we go. So moving on to the figures. Now these are for the actual tank uh, itself. These guys are going to be going inside the hatches. But before we do that, um, I wanted to get them all dressed up. I wasn't too sure how I wanted to, uh, to do them. Now, I didn't know if I wanted to do them in the, the Cad Pat Desert or the, um, like the, the Arid or the Cad Pat Green, right there. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to mix them up a little bit. Just because I didn't want to do them all green because the tank itself is green. And I didn't want them blending in too much. And I didn't want to do all in, you know, all in the Arid. Because I wanted to, you know, kind of mix up the figures a bit. And I remember when I first joined the military, um, way back when, um, we just had solid green, but I had the CAD pad helmet. That, where they were just transitioning into the CAD pad, but my, uh, my clothes were all green, but I had the CAD pad helmet. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to mix them up a little bit. And I'll give them the, the CAD pad armor, and I'll eventually do the CAD pad helmet, but I'm going to have the arid camo clothes. That way it just breaks up the figure a little bit. As you can see, not quite done yet, but uh, kind of just breaks them, breaks them up a little bit and then when it comes time to, you know, to put them in the tank and stuff like that, you know, it uh, gives it a little more depth. Now these decals are uh, pretty neat. Um, got them from that company right there. I'll leave links in the description as well. But uh, these are really nice. As you can see, try to paint that. Uh, that would be quite difficult to paint. And then there's the Arid. Now, this company makes, uh, as far as I can tell, pretty much any military out there, um, you can get uh, decals for. And this, you don't use water. Um, I'm using antifreeze, like for vehicles, and a couple drops of, um, like, dish detergent. Dish soap. You just dip them in there for like five seconds and then they come right off. And um, you kind of get it as close to the figure as you can, that's like shape wise, and then you just wrap it around and then you take a heat gun to it, you know, pretty fast and then it just shrink wraps to them, as you can see. So it is time consuming. It takes, uh, you know, I say I've been working on him for about two days. So it does take time, but you know it's, it's going to be worth it. So this is uh, this one here is an actual Canadian, um, Canadian Army uh, tank crew in Afghanistan. So that's going to be really cool when that's all said and done. I also have some Canadian uh, soldiers as well that will be going with this diorama, but we'll get to that in in another part. So there's the other one. And then I also have a Canadian uh, Leopard C1 tank that we'll be working on eventually in the future as well. So that's where we're at with uh, with this build. So it's coming along, you know, a little slowly just because of the figures and stuff. I just uh, wanted to decide how I wanted to, you know, to, to do these figures. Uh, if I don't like the cat pat green, uh, like the vests, you know, once I get the helmet and stuff on, you know, I can just rip that out and then just do them all in air if I want. Uh, we'll figure that out. Now, I know I originally said I was going to do this like in Wainwright, but um, because I'm using the Arid Camo, 
um, I might just pose this like during a field in Afghanistan because um, you know they wouldn't be training in their arid camo I believe I'm old school so I don't believe they would be training in uh, that camo I be, they would be training in their the CAD pad so I'm gonna try and stay true to their to the accuracy anyway let's just put it that way so um anyway that's where we're at with this i don't want to ramble on but uh so it's coming along quite nicely and uh, so there we go so there's part two so thanks so much for watching please like share and subscribe and uh there we go guys thanks so much bye